All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, another episode of The Good Life. I am your priest. Not really, but I do have to say thank you guys so much for the uh, awesome like feedback from episode one. By the way, killed it. Great job. Thank you so much. And it seems like you guys want to see more of the good life. Also, I have to plead ignorance. <laughs> I've been told Dick Winnington is an actual person. I, I did not know that. See, the more that you know. Did not know that. And I do have to say thank you guys so much for the... Um, I don't have to like put these up again. Uh, thank you guys so much for the, um, for the information on that. And awesome, like, very, very good. Like, a lot of people sent me links to, like, what was supposed to be, um, you know, the, the history of Dick Win Wintington. I can't say his name correctly. I apologize. But thank you. I do have to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, they said squirrel. I think this is a weasel, rabbit, and a rat. What happens if I would upload this, you think? And this will get spicy reviews? Upload this photo? Yes. <laughs> Alright, we'll step away for now and let those photos do what they want to do. So the main quest now is to investigate uh, the Shrine Hill. However, I feel like we haven't slept in a very long time. And we are starting to get hungry. Hang on a sec, let's see. What happens if we go into the bathroom? Should I take a shower? Why not? <sighs> I feel so refreshed. Oh, did that change anything on our stats? Doesn't look like it. Okay, can we cook anything? Okay, time for a little cooking. Yeah, let's see if we can cook anything. Holy crap, buttered toast, coca spread toast. That sounds pretty good. That sounds like Nutella. Um, saute wood, moose, mouse, mouse, not moose, mouse. Squirrel, uh, sauteed hedgehog. Wait, we can kill these animals out there? This seems kind of wild, dude. Hang on, Danielle texts me. This actually might be a little bit important. Um, no, that is not important. All right, that's all right. That's all right. The wife, you know, she texts me sometimes important things, and sometimes we're in an important conversation. Sometimes the wife texts me just because, and I'm not trying to deliberately ignore her. I'm just um, just trying to. I'm I'm just a little, a little busy right now. She understands. Don't worry. She understands. So I guess we're gonna go with jacket potato. Yeah, I guess I'll go with this. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, what? Woo! Woo! Woohoo! Critical success? <laughs> That's a weird way. Alright, cooking. Eating food repeatedly repeatedly at cafes and pubs will allow you to learn... Oh! What? You can learn... At cafes and pubs will allow you to learn how they're supposed to taste. Once you learn a recipe, you can cook up the dish in your home kitchen or at any outdoor kitchen. Oh, very good. All right, so we have the food, All right? Do we just set it? Do we, do we set it on the table? Yeah, eat. Yeah. I'm stuffed. Okay, a little bit. Um, the, I, I, not a lot, but we'll, we'll cook another one. Where is it? There we go. Grab that. I would like to cook another one. This game is like really cool. Woo! I dig this game. There we go. There we go. Put it there. Eat it up. By the way, I did I did misspoke a little bit on the um, on the first episode. This game is available on console. Yeah, you can go and pick up this game on Xbox Game Pass on the Xbox console. I believe it's like even on Nintendo Switch as well. Uh, so yeah, definitely look out for that if you do have you know those those consoles and whatnot. You can um, you can absolutely pick them up. Now, do I have to water these? I feel like I should. <laughs> I feel like I should. What about this? Is this anything storage? This game, I feel like this game is like yet to show me anything. You can store garden decorations and other items that won't fit in Naomi's bag in any storage area. All you need to do is open the storage menu while holding the object. All right. So let's go investigate the shrine on the hill. Speak with John Berryman. There's any squirrels or hedgehog. Is that a hedgehog? That is a hedgehog. There's anything. That catches my eye. I will take pictures of it. Um, I will not hunt a hedgehog. Yo. Oh, wait. One thing we could do. Yeah. I got you, dude. Yo. Can I fight the mouse? 
He's very upset. He's very upset. He should be. He should be. All right. Let's go talk to John. Now, will it be weird if I just, like, all of a sudden, in the middle of the town, go like that? Anybody care? Nobody cares? Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, John. Oh, yeah, our camera. Our new camera. That's what it was. The music in this game is so good. Even though I was copy striked, but not copy striked, but copyright. Never mind. I don't want to even get into the Hi. YouTube analytics there for you. So, you're the fancy photographer from the city, eh? I got your order. Oh, good. Let's cut to the chase then. Here you are, and I finished tuning her up. So, she's all ready to go. Old standard camera. A standard photographer's camera, no special features, but it can get most jobs done. It's old, though, so you'll need to be craftful. Or careful, sorry, not craftful. Seriously? This is a used camera? God damn it! Morning Bell could easily buy a brand new one with all the money they're hoarding. No. All right, all right, all right. No need to get your knickers in a twist about it. I prefer the term refurbish, and she'll do a bloody good job. How could you complain about such a cutie pie? Huh? Cutie pie? Uh -huh. That's right. Gadgets are all cute in their own ways, especially delicate, complicated sweeties like the camera. What the heck? <laughs> now, don't worry. I'll be here to fix her if she ever gets any bumps, bruises, or upsets of any kind. So be nicer, will you? She's your work partner now. Trying to guilt trip me, huh? Fine, whatever. I'll see how far I can get with this lady. Uh -huh. Now you're talking. All right, camera and lenses. You can purchase cameras and lenses at John's shops and equip different cameras at any time by pressing tab and accessing the camera portion of the main menu. You want you want a telephoto to lens to capture far away things and a wide angle lens to capture more subjects at once. Used cameras are cheap, but they also break easily. When that happens, you'll have to have John to come back and fix it for you. Okay, it's very complicated, but I like that. Uh, so, can we buy a lens? Need something? I'm here to shop. Something broke? Let's chat. No, I'm here to shop. If it's machine trouble you've got, I'm your man. Holy hell. Looks like we're not going to be getting any lenses right now. But if we were, I was going to go for like the telephoto lens far away. But that's not the option here. Cheers. Uh, you know what? Is there anything I can chat with hey. him about of any sorts? Hey. Hey there, Shutter Nutter. What the hell did you just call me? Out to work again? You should like to keep yourself. You sure like to keep yourself busy. All right. Well, fair enough. Examine the shrines. Okay, so that should be off onto the hill. I think we've we've been to this shrine, so it's nothing to really sweat about. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and go into cat form. I think we can just get there quicker. I think the cat just runs faster. At least it feels like it runs faster. Now, there were people up at the church last time we were by the church. Now, every shrine, we've been told, has a mission. And the mission... Or they want us to do missions at every shrine. And I guess we can get a reward for so. Oh, look, there's another weasel. Is there actually, like, wild weasels? Over in this part of the land? <laughs> I don't know exactly where we're at, but... Are there wild weasels? Because if there's wild weasels, that would be amazing. I'm sure there are. Uh, don't jump. Again, don't jump. Rita. Okay, wait. Rita. Rita was actually somebody we wanted to take a picture of, I believe. I think that's what it was one of our quests. Oh, God. So let's take a picture of Rita. Bam. Might as well take a picture of George while we're at it, too. I'm not going to talk to them quite yet. We're going to do this. Check this out, baby. Hmm. So hmm. This is a shrine. Interesting. Very interesting. Nope, I'm stumped. These are probably cats and dogs, huh? And that's like a full moon or a new moon, maybe. A shrine dedicated to cats, dogs, and moons. Smells like a mystery, all right. It looks so old, though. As old as Stonehenge. No, it can't be that old. Mm. Yeah, well, I know what that is, but I remember hearing about it in art <laughs> class. Yeah, that's it. Celtic. This is Celtic style. Mm. Wait, no, maybe it isn't. Uh, whatever it is, it looks Celtic, so it's Celtic. End of story. That's exactly what I say. 
Now to hurry up and snap a shot of it so I can send it off already. Okay. Uh, cat dog shrines exist all over Rainy Woods. If you make an offering at a shrine, it will initiate you, which you will, uh, which will allow you to fast travel to any other shrine you've been initiated at. Okay. Yo, creepy. <gasps> when did you get here, girl? When somebody stands in the middle of Stonehenge. Where do they actually stand? Inside Stonehenge or outside? <sighs> that makes no sense. Right. And that's all right. You can barge into someone's living room all you like, but that won't teach you everything there is to know about them. That's all I'm trying to say. You're a cryptic one, all right. But now that you're here, girl, mind telling me what went down that night? You know, the night when everyone in town got together and decided to have some freaky cat and dog party? How come you were the only one who didn't join? Hmm? Why, that's a strange question to ask. Oh, then let me be frank. I was hired to come here and uncover all the dark secrets you're hiding in this little town. So just tell me the truth. You know about all this town's mysteries and secrets, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you're rather direct, aren't you, Miss Hayward? Hmm. But I can't tell you just yet. After all, you haven't made the necessary preparations. Preparations? What do I need for that? Why, it's simple. Just bring me what I need. One rubber sheet. And two pieces of patchwork leather. You want me to go find you this stuff for you? Sharp as always, Miss Hayward. Yeah. Well, of course I'm sharp. You think I'm an idiot. Or you think an idiot could survive in New York? You should be able to have the materials crafted for you at McCavy or Mc McAvey's uh, construction. Again, the... <laughs> animation there i'll finish this stupid fetch quest before you know what hit right. you music to my ears i knew i could count on you okay cool running leaping hopping i did not see the rest of that oh hopping shoes okay are these people still here they are still here i'm trying to see is that that's a cat right that's a cat cat symbol next to their name oh george Careful. He, he had to go look at the shrine there. Pissing. Talk to Rita. Sigh. Hey there, what's with the unnaturally loud sigh that you clearly wanted me to hear? <laughs> a steel-winged bird resisting the wind, searching for a star in solitude, wavering on two lonely wings. Huh? huh? What do you think that the poem is about? How should I know? If you want to play guessing games, you're barking up the wrong tree. Uh, well, the truth well. is, I don't know the answer myself. Okay. I wrote this poem somewhere in town a few days ago, but for the life of me, I can't remember exactly where. You lost me. Try again and try to make it make sense this time. Hmm, troubling. It's true I may have had a tipple or two on my stroll, but inspiration struck me so suddenly. What else was I to do? What did I see that affected me so strongly? What possessed me so that my hand seemed to move on its own? See ya! Yeah, self-discovery can be hard. Now then, if you'll excuse me. So what, you won't find the place where I wrote this poem for me? Seriously? Ex Excuse me? I know that I was inspired to write it after something in town. Won't you locate it for me? Are you really asking me to decode th that whole oh god? Okay, ready for it, ladies and gentlemen. Ready? Ready? Are you really asking me to decode that shitty poem just so I can find where you were when where, where you were when when you wrote it? Why are we so aggressive? Yes, exactly. And when you find it, I'll pay you a fine reward. Mm. Mm, you know, I'm weak to that sort of talk. You're a pro photographer, yes? In that case, I would like, I would quiet, or I'd quite like you to take a picture of that location for me. Fine. How did you get the palm again? A steel winged bird resisting the wind, searching for a star in solitude, wavering on two lonely wings. That's the hint. I mean, you clearly just strung together words without any rhyme or reason, but I'll still try to find the place. Thank you. Good. I'm counting on you. Uh, we'll save that one for later, though. If any, like, steel wing bird... I'm assuming, like, a sign, maybe? Uh, you know. Anything? Probably go back into cat form here. Bust down this hill. You know, thinking about it, 
the probably the same amount of speed if I was in cat form or, or in human form. Probably really doesn't matter. Keep going. Did we take it? Yeah, we took a picture. You know what? We did take a picture of the scarecrow, but I think we took a picture of the scarecrow like at night. We're going to go talk to John. We're actually going to go down this way. Keep on track. Keep on track here. But yeah, the first thing that comes to my mind is like steel wing. I'm thinking like a sign hanging from a, a building, maybe? I don't know. Church lane. Yo, look. At, did you see John? He's incredible. I got to get to him now. John? Oh my god. Oh, I love the character models in this game. Um, oh, is this Douglas? Sorry, wh wh why was I saying John? Sorry, Douglas McAvey. Look at him. Wow. How are you faring? Good day, I'm Douglas McAvey, the premier carpenter of this hamlet. Uh, well, hi. You, you've got a pretty squeaky voice considering how big that armor mm -hmm. is. Oh, wh whooping what is only to serve to harass my neighbors as I fear I need only thy ears now. Here. The path we walk shall be a long and arduous one. Perth? Perthy? Perthy, lend me my thy strength? Naomi Hayward? What the hell, man? Now you're losing me. Um, well, my man, I actually need you to cr craft me something. Mm -hmm. How may I help you? I'm here to shop. I need some materials. I want to decorate my garden. I want to remodel. Oh, I love this. I need some materials. Hey, hey I heard I can buy stuff here. For soup. But alas, fleshly mortals may not simply pluck materials for from the stuff of dreams. I need one rubber sheet and two pieces of patchwork hmm. leather. Hey, in order to craft that rubber sheet, I shall first require turbid sap. The elusive tree blood may be easily procured, procured in the witch's forest. For patchwork leather, I shall require a small animal hide, but may be ripped from the bodies of rats and vermin akin. Hmm. Dost thou fa fashion thyself a hunter? Oh my god. Um, I am not a hunter, but thank you for asking. Okay, so hmm. we need to get this stuff. I get it. All right. I am a carpenter. I am a carpenter and a smith. The arts of al alchemy elude me. Okay. All right. So head. So we. I, I wonder how we're gonna acquire animal uh, hide. Catch animals with animal vision. Oh, baby. Humans and dogs just don't move fast enough to catch nimble little animals and birds, which leaves you only one choice. Left control as a cat and activate animal vision. Lock onto your target, then press alt to perform the fast jump. Okay, this is this is exactly what I was thinking. Send it, dude. Oh, my God. Small animal hide. Nice. All right. Very good. Very, very good. Um, and then we need to go get sap from the witch's forest. Okay. Let's go do that. Awesome. That's actually pretty cool. No guns, no needed, right? No needed for guns. How, how's our food level? Our food level's fine. Hello, John? Martha? Wait, John. 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 No. John bury me and Martha bury me. She's a dog. Oh, she's a dog. And John's a dog. Oh. Okay. Jo the bury me. The bury me, right? Bury me? Was that what their name was? Berryman? Berryman? They are dog people. No. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> I wonder if you'll be able to, like, have, like, um... Like a bike in the future? I don't know. Oh, look at these people here. They're both cats. Salome Macaulay and Benedict Macaulay. I actually kind of like... Take a few pictures there. Yeah. Hedgehog. Send it. Go. Good job. Hedgehog meat. Very good. We should just be like rolling as a cat, honestly. I wonder when we'll be able to like. Well, I guess we have to do a dog quest before, but I wonder when we can do like dogs, like be a dog. But you gotta do dog quest, dude. 
kind of focus in a little bit more on my stamina here. Ooh, look at this. A weasel? We're going to be able to get a weasel? I feel bad doing this, but... I missed it. I also missed it. I got it. Pine Martin meat. Very good. Okay, so we're here at the witch's forest, but... Yo, is it a squirrel? It's a squirrel that was on the hashtag list, and I just smacked it. I'm pretty sure that was a squirrel. On the trend alert. I can't tell if it's on this side of the wall. No, it's not. Okay, good. It's right here. There we go. Let's go ahead and gra grab some of this. Turbid Zap. Awesome. All right. What is that? Is that a rat? Okay, that's another rat. Let's get to cat form. Where did it go? There it is. Pop it. Love it. Send it. Now, I don't know if there's like level ups or leveling up in this game. We are. Our hunger is like 100% all of a sudden. We're not eating these animals, are we? <laughs> there we go. All right. Very good. Very good. Please tell me there's... Oh, there's not a cut out here. All right. I feel you. Can I jump as a cat? No, I can't jump as a cat either. Let's say jump over the wall. But you think like in an RPG game, there'd be like some kind of level system, maybe. But maybe not. Yo, there's a squirrel. There's a squirrel. We gotta get a picture of the squirrel, because it's trending. Look at him. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. Trend alert. Trend alert. Come closer. Yeah! Even closer. Cute squirrels. Yep. There's your hot words. Oh, baby. Good stuff. It's getting dark already. Man, there's so much to do in this game. It's really fun. I think... Okay, so, by the way, I didn't talk about this in episode one when I, you know, introduced the game. But I believe without Game Pass, I think this game is going to run you $39.99 USD. So, it's a, it's, a, it's a hefty... Oh. It's a hefty game. Like, price-wise, but I don't know. I think there's a lot of potential here. Onions? Might as well pick this stuff. Butternut squash? Zucchinis? Hey, this is free, man. Parsnips? <laughs> this is straight from the scarecrow, man. This is helping us. What is this, grapes? Cucumbers. Oh, I love cucumbers. My pigs love cucumbers. Tomatoes? This is gonna help us out quite well, actually. And then, like, this. Vivid caterpillar. Sandy caterpillar. Get another picture of that. Okay. So now let's head on over. Hopefully, Macaulay, I think that's his name. His store doesn't close, and if it does close, hopefully, you know, I don't know. <laughs> okay, he looks like he's still hammering there, so we're good. Could go to the pub and check it out, right? Mushroom and Evans Cafe Restaurant. The other place is the pub. Oh, there's more stuff over there that we can pick from. All right, my man Douglas, we have what you want. I promise. Be Wait, what? Mm -hmm. Oh, may I help you? Um, I'm here to shop. Is that where I need to go? Yes. No. <gasps> Whoa. <gasps> Pickaxe. Whoa. Bamboo material, stone material, bronze. Okay, this is all very good. Okay. I need materials, though. Mm -hmm. I need some materials. Mm. Okay, so we want rubber sheet. Right? Was it one rubber sheet? I think it was one. Yeah, one rubber sheet. Mm -hmm. There we go. Eh. Hmm. Hey. Till this small animal hide, truer than the darkest of truths. I shall embark on processing the patchwork leather for wit. Uh, I thought I clicked on the rubber thing, but maybe I didn't. 
Wow, we are really a pro. Here, by, here be the object of that they desire. I never knew leather making was so artistic. Okay, that was one patchwork. Hopefully he doesn't do all of that when I ask him to do more things. Like, don't give me a spiel. Okay, what I wanted was this. Rubber. Confirm. Bye. <laughs> Forsooth. <laughs> okay. Every freaking time? Every time you want to get something, they, they have a little conversation at the end of it? I don't know how I like that. Grab this. Bye. Okay, there we go. Awesome. Got that done. Report back to Elizabeth Dickens. We will report back to Elizabeth Dickens. Yo, look at that out there. Oh my god. That shrine is lit. Literally lit, dude. It's lit up in the sky. Hedgehog. William's Garden. All right. Hello, Elizabeth. I have what you want. <laughs> have you found everything yet? Well, yeah, actually, it's all right here. What do you need all this stuff for anyways? I'd like to use this material to make a pair of light, durable shoes. Oh, preparing for an adventure? They need to be a size five, but I suppose in American sizes, that would be a five and a half. Huh? What? But my shoes is my shoe size is seven and a half. Anyway, I need a pair of size five shoes that are light and durable. Jeez. Whatever. Silly for me for even expecting you to ever explain anything. You can get light and durable shoes made at a fancy in bunny. Okay, I'll head straight there. But once I'm finished with the fetch quest, you better spill the beans. You hear me? So we're not going to be able to go there because I think it's just too dark. Yo, is there another shrine over there? Or is that the same one? Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to go there because I believe they, they're just closed. So since we're right back at our house... Let's go ahead and head back inside. Oh, there's a couple shrines. You see that? A couple red ones out in there in the distance. Outdoor kitchen. Oh, that is so cool. I don't think we have any. Oh, dude, look at the. They're, they're growing. Do we have any more seeds? I don't know if we have any more seeds. Oh, we do. Mint, rosemary, and sage. Well, might as well plant something. Something's better than nothing. Plant some rosemary. And then some sage. There we go. And plant. Awesome. Very good. All right, let's go inside. Naomi's house. Now let's go check and see how our photos did, actually. Go to Flamingo. Not, not bad. Not too bad, I guess. The, the people, like, don't even care about this. They're like, who cares? <laughs> but we do have a picture of a freaking squirrel, dude. I'm telling you. You can hardly see it. <laughs> this one's a better picture. You can see it. Let's just upload that one. Upload this photo. Yes. Cute squirrels. Get that up and going, right? Deposit. 250 in our bank account like probably not worth it right there we go buzz look at it it's trending the money is going send it send it send it send it didn't i need i needed people right i gotta check my email on that one okay we'll let that one marinate um job what happened what, what's going on was that telling me that it's like full moon now um rita and william dickens rita and william dickens do I have to upload that one? Let me see here. George? No. Why can't I go to the next one? 
This one is George and Rita. You know what? I'm uploading that. <laughs> I'm uploading it, dude. I don't care. We'll see where that goes. Upload target, Rita. Okay, good. So now we just need William Dickens. Okay. Fair enough. Something, okay, there was more. Rainy Woods Info Hub. Top of the morning to you from the Rainy Woods Info Hub. If you keep walking east from Rainy Woods, you'll soon find yourself in the tiny fishing village of Eskels. Yes, spelt like cake. Eskels? I think I might be pronouncing that wrong. Used to be a tourism hotspot so popular it gave Rainy Woods a run for its money. And now it enjoys a more peaceful existence. Uh, isolated from neighboring towns, it retains not but a glimmer of its past popularity. So lucky you, dear reader, that you should get to find out about it in this newsletter. Don't forget, don't, but don't go snapping photos for your social media profile and leave your meal unfinished. Not only is it rude, but potatoes and batter aren't good for the birds. who will gobble up anything when you leave. Okay. Hello, bakers, and welcome to the Rainy Woods Info Hub special featuring on Happy Scones. And if you haven't had a chance to try one of Miss Yanyi's, 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 Happy Scones, where you've, where have you been? Warm and crumbly and not soggy. Bottom is, hot, oh, dude, I would like to try a scone. I don't think I've ever had a scone. And to top it all off, it said these scones have the power to summon happiness to whoever eats them. What more could you want? Miss Jan peddles her scones as she travels around town, so be sure to track her down before they're all gone. So Miss Jan. Okay, not Jan Livingston, right? Okay. Back out of there. I think that the eye, like the eye is like shut eye, right? It's shut eye. It's like, hey, you know, um, gotta get some sleep. But I think that's gonna do it in today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of The Good Life. If you guys did, please make sure to hit that like because it shows me you want to see this series continue and go even further. But right now, this is where we're going to end it. And I'll see you in the next video, wherever that may be. And do as always, take care. This is for all of you, not just a song to listen to. Something to give you hope to hang on to. Oh, yeah. Your pocket.